Hello, welcome. So in this video, we are going to learn how to create SOAP connection in Oracle Integration Generation 3. In previous video, I have shown you how you can create REST connection. Now it's time to create SOAP connection. For creating any connection, first we need to go navigate to the design and here we have connection option. So here in connection, I have already created one REST connection. That's why it's showing here. Now if I have to create the SOAP connection, it means that that SOAP connection, we need to create the URL that we still, right? So suppose we are going to create SOAP connection to call the BI report. So we have to pr prepare the URL, The you can see the visual. So here you can see I have this is the U SOAP URL that for the visual for the calling BI report. And here you can see here we need to provide the instance URL. So what we will do, so suppose this is our Fusion instance and I am going to call BI report from this instance only. So I will, what I will do, I will just make a copy of this URL as HTTP I already make a copy here. So here I will paste here and this is my complete URL for calling the SOAP services. Now we have to create SOAP connection for this URL only, right? So now what we need to do, we, I will copy this one and this URL will be used while creating the connection. So here I will go to the here, now click connection. And now I will give the name as SOAP adapter. So as SOAP adapter is going to help to create SOAP connection. So now I will provide the name as XX SOAP ELTG connection. ELTG nothing it's an instance URL name that's for simply verification purpose and role is the trigger and invoke and just click here. So after clicking here it will ask you the visual. So what I will do I will just paste visual here whatever visual I have make a copy from here. And now we have to provide the username and password and this username and password will be from the from the instance only right so for this instance i have already user and password so i will provide this user password here so now i have provided the user and password here and now it's time to test so once we will test after completing all this like configuration details the status will be changed so now you can see right now it's in the rough status and configuration process you can see it's 100 percent right now i will go save that will be changed to draft to configure so now you can see our connection is ready to call the BI report or call the SOAP services for the, the this Fusion instance. So this is the basic, basic way like you can create connection in Oracle Integration Generation 3. In next videos, I will show you how we can create the ERP Cloud Adapter connection and then we'll start, we'll start the creating integration. Thank you so much for watching.